Let's talk about 12 volt wiring. Hopefully this video will help you get started in your 12 volt wiring project. I built this tiny house and there's no electricity where this little cabin will be. I didn't want to run a generator all the time and so I decided to wire the cabin for 12 volts. Now I've had quite a bit of experience running house wiring. I rewired my entire house but I've had very little experience running 12 volt. I'd like to share a few of the things that I've learned and maybe help you get started in wiring your tiny house. Now before you begin you need to ask yourself a few questions. What do you want to power with your 12 volts? Do you plan to run an inverter? How much do you want to spend on this project? I decided to keep my wiring pretty simple because I was only interested in powering some lights for the cabin. As I got started I realized I would like to be able to charge my cell phone and maybe power a little 12 volt vacuum cleaner and so I bought this wiring block which enabled six different circuits so I basically have six runs in my uh, tiny house to run different things. I plan to try to keep my power consumption pretty low so that I can power the 12 volt battery with a small solar panel. Now there are several ways that you can go about uh, running your 12 volt system. Probably one of the best and simplest ways is to run from your, your deep cell 12 volt battery to a wiring block like this one. And in this case there are six circuits uh, available to run to different things uh, that you're going to be powering in your cabin. And so all of the positive wires would, would be connected to these terminals and all of the ground wires would be connected to these. This is where the main uh, negative wire coming from the battery is connected and down here is where the positive wire is connected. So it's a pretty uh, simple system. Now one of the most important considerations with 12 volt wiring is to use uh, wire size that's adequate for the, for the amount of amperage you're going to be pulling through that wire. If you have a wire that's too small it could uh, heat up and cause a fire in your tiny house. So there are charts available and here's an example of a chart that kind of shows you what size wire you should be given, uh, should be using for a given um, amperage draw and the number of feet that you'll be, you'll be running. And so in general uh, it's best to use wire that's larger than you need than to tend to make a run with a smaller size wire and, and take the chance of causing a fire. In general in my cabin I ran number 14 wire and as you can see I can I could go um, up to 10 amps at a distance of 25 feet and be fine with uh, 14 gauge wire. And so uh, I know there was one, one circuit off from my wiring block that I used number 12 wire just because I wanted to be really safe uh, with the amount of amperage that I figured I'm uh, drawing through that, that particular circuit. So wire size is important with, uh, with 12 volt wire and you don't want to cause a fire. Now this is a simplified little drawing of how 12 volt wiring works. You basically only have two wires to concern yourself with with 12 volt wiring. There's a positive and a negative. The positive would, would run out of the battery through some kind of fuse and over to the positive terminal of the light fixture or whatever you're connecting to. And then off from the negative side, you go to the negative side of the light fixture. So there's no, there's no separate ground wire like in, in uh, house wiring. It's only two wires that you have to uh, be concerned with. Now this chart here comes pretty close to representing what I did in my tiny house for my 12 volt wiring. It shows your battery which I used a 12 volt deep cell battery, marine battery, and you come off to the positive side through a fuse and over to the fuse box. Now I use number 8 wire here because I wanted it to be plenty heavy uh, to power everything that I had uh, going on in, in my cabin 
and I believe that my distance from the from the battery to the fuse box uh, was about 10 feet and so I figured number eight wire uh, would be sufficient to, to not cause any problems and then in my case we, we went from the negative side of the battery to the negative terminal on the fuse box and that way everything from your loads uh, the positive runs to the load and then the negative back to the fuse box and back to the battery. In this drawing it shows that they're connecting it to like the frame of the trailer which, you, which is the way your car does it. You know the, the negative side of the battery in a car goes down to the frame of the, in, in the car and so either way it, it'll work. It's just that on my fuse block they had a positive and a negative terminal. So I, ran, I just ran to those. Now I'll show you some of the things that I installed in my tiny house. I have a reading light with an LED bulb. That's kind of nice. And uh, this is the box that the uh, fuse block came in. And of course you're going to need wire. That's number 12 wire, positive and negative, red and black. And then I stuck in a couple of these 12 volt receptacles. And there's a light switch. So I had six circuits and I had all these things uh, running off from those six cir circuits. Now you're ne going to need spade connectors and uh, butt connectors. Oh, this is kind of a cool thing here. This uh, was a combo unit that had a voltage readout and two uh, places where you could plug in those cigarette lighter type outlets, 12 volt outlets. Uh, like I said, you're going to need ring connectors and butt connectors and different connectors to hook up all these wires. Here's that combo unit I was telling you about. I'm running 12.3 volts as you can see there. That's a USB port. There's a 1 amp and a 5 amp uh, slot there. And there is your cigarette lighter type outlet. Here I am out on the porch with shows my battery hookup. This is an LED light fixture that I made for the ceiling of the cabin. And uh, I bought some, one of those LED strips, you know. And then I bought this cake pan and, and made this light. It only has two wires, like we said. It's uh, positive and negative, and just hook it up to the 12 volt. There's a nice plate that I found that fits right in that cake pan that completes the fixture. Here we are inside my tiny house and there's that light that I made for the ceiling. So don't be afraid to tackle that 12 volt wiring job in your tiny house or small cabin. I hope you found my video helpful in understanding the basics of 12 volt wiring. So depending on what you plan on installing in your tiny house, you can find information online and, and take it from there. So good luck with your project.